burning. But where is the fire? Eddie! It's all right! It's all right! False alarm! The one over my bed went off. Oh, thank God. And don't worry about Eddie. He's back in my room. God, the noise the bloody thing makes. It would be less upsetting to just wake up on fire. <laughs> what the hell triggered it? Who knows? I was dozing quite peacefully when it started screaming away for no reason at all. I see. What have we here? Eddie, you've been smoking in Daphne's bedroom. Bad dog. <laughs> No, oh, I know. You have a no-smoking rule, I'm sorry. But every now and again, I feel a bit tense, and I find a ciggy can be very soothing. Oh, yeah, it's real soothing. Should only be about an hour until my heart stops fibrillating. <laughs> oh, it figures. 3 a.m. Of course, this would happen on the night before I have an early morning meeting. Daphne, aren't you going back to bed? No, I'll just sit up for a bit. I'm feeling a bit blue. Anything you'd like to talk about? No. No, you need your sleep. It's nothing important. Just this feeling that my life's a gaping sinkhole and I'm just marking time while the flower of my youth rots on the vine. Well, so long as you're sure. 